Okay, today we are looking at my messages is bigger than yours. And we start with the song as usual. Oh, the glory must be to the Lord. For he is worthy of our praise. No man on earth should give glory to himself. All the glory must be to the Lord. Of course, in came one cause, uh, my Mercedes is bigger than yours. Uh, basically, focuses on you know, conspicuous consumptions, among uh, other things. And I know uh, for Nigerians, the, back in the day, uh, maybe even to some extent till now, people regard Mercedes as a very luxurious vehicle. Uh, in fact, I still recall that. Uh, the classic uh, Mercedes 200 uh, is actually known as the German mystic. People go out of their way to look for it uh, because they realize that it's actually very durable, uh, very little maintenance, and it keeps going on forever. And but of course, we know that the cars have evolved uh, from the V boot, you know, uh, to the AMG. And so on and so forth, but it has maintained its luxury uh, features. And so the temptation there is to always to want to show off in terms of you know your acquisitions, and we see this also in scripture, uh, particularly if you look at Ezekiah that has just uh, God and it had been giving him divine healing, and some memories were sent you know uh, to congratulate him on the fact that he had come out of a life threatening situation. We pick the story from 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 12. At that time, uh, Perotak Balatan you know, uh, you know, sent messengers and the letter to Ezekiah for a head that he had been sick, and Ezekiah was attentive to them and showed them all the house of his treasures. Hmm. Show off the silver and gold, the spices and precious ointment. And all is armory. Like when you have those kinds of military parades, where people are showing you their intercontinental ballistic missiles. And all that, all that was found among his treasures, he showed it to them. There was nothing in his house or in all his dominion that his kaya did not show them. Verse 14. Then Isaiah the prophet went to King Iskaya and said to him, What did these men say and from where did they come to you? So Iskaya said, They came from a far country, from Babylon. And he said, what have they seen in your house? So Zikaya answered, they have seen all that is in my house. There is nothing among my treasures that I have not shown them. Then Isaiah said to Zikaya, hear the word of the Lord. Behold, the days are coming when all that is in your house and what your fathers have accumulated until this day shall be carried to Babylon. Nothing shall be left, says the Lord. And they shall take away some of your sons who will descend from you, whom you will beget, and they shall be eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. You know, it doesn't always end well. You know, all the show of, uh, and part of it is that's why you see people uh, start to plot against you because you are showing off your wealth, you know, you are showing off your brilliance. You know, sometimes it's you know good to go undercover, exhibit a lot of humility because God actually promotes uh, humility. You don't want to be that person that has shown off, and then you know you are now humbled uh, in the midst of uh, those that you have shown off. With. So let's always be careful to give God all the glory for whatever it is that we have achieved because he's the one that made it possible in the first instance.